conductor, and insulator. Materials can be classified as conductors or insulators depending on how they interact with heat and electricity. As shown in the picture, the rubber cover of the wire is an example of an insulator and the copper inside of it is called a conductor. Inside the copper wire, the electrically charged particles move freely and collide with each other. It creates series of energy transfer which is known as conduction. But how heat is being conducted? Heat is conducted when the electrically charged particles vibrate intensely, collide with another particle, and heat energy is passed on. But how to know if the materials are insulators? Insulators do not have electrically charged particles. Their particles can only vibrate in their places. The best example is the wood. Generally, good conductors of heat are also good conductors of electricity. Examples are aluminum, iron, and copper. Other materials like glasses and ceramics are excellent thermal conductors, but not good electrical conductors. This is the reason they are commonly used as cooking wares rather than as electrical components. Therefore, materials can be classified as conductors or insulators depending on how they interact with heat and electricity. Let's check your competencies. Why the handle of a screwdriver is made up of thick rubber or plastic? Because thick rubber or plastic can prevent the flow of electricity. Let's summarize. Materials can be classified as either conductor or insulator. Conductors have free electrically charged particles that collide, while insulators have none. Let's have a quiz. Which materials are conductors and insulators? Thank you! Check other video lessons about motion, appropriate measuring tool, and standard units of measurement. Have a good day!